So look what we got today. We picked up Christine. This uh, retails for twenty five ninety nine at my local hobby store. This is the movie car, uh, AMT 125th scale, a 1958 Plymouth Belvedere, which was converted into another vehicle uh, during the movie. Um, so we're going to unbox this. This has still got its cellophane on, as you can see. Uh, there's some nice graphics on the back of the box. Um, tells you what's inside the box. There's also some nice graphics around the side, all four sides. I believe they're all showing up. And uh, there we go. Yeah. Lots and lots. And this one is molded in white. So let's find something to open this with. You know, you never have a knife around when you need one. Ah, oh, there's one right there. Okay. So we're just going to open this up. See what's inside. And you always want to use a sharp knife when you're doing this and just cut through the cellophane. And there you go. So we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to get rid of this. Throw it off to the side. So, all right. Let's see what's in the box. We'll just kind of pop this off. As you'd expect it, it's a pretty tight fit, believe it or not. With my luck, there's probably tape on the bottom. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got the top off, and inside the usual suspects, we've got some chrome parts, um, which would be the front grill, um, the hubcaps, a few other things, the rear light bezels as well. Next up, we have our clear parts, which um, look pretty standard. Then we have a bag of tires. And we've got the body of the car, which doesn't look like it has too much flash on it. A um, little bit. And then, of course, there's the uh, the pan for the interior is there along with the trunk. My disappointment in this so far is that the trunk, uh, the deck lid, is actually molded in. So although they have a trunk, uh, in the back where you can see here on the bottom that they've got the the fuel uh, compartment. Um, they have no interior for the trunk, which is kind of disappointing. Um, in this bag, we have a variety of parts, which I believe includes the hood, some of the interior, some of the suspension, um, rear axle, that kind of stuff. And in this bag, we have um, the the rear valance uh we also have the interior doors the seats um some of the engine parts are in here the dashboard is here uh so there's a there's a lot of stuff there and what else do we get uh, we get the usual round two paraphernalia um let's have a look at the decals uh decals are always done very nice uh they i'm not going to open this up just yet um but uh, it's a very small decal sheet Looks like there's a lot of Christine um, nameplates on it. Um, Darnell's Tonight is on there. So there's there's a lot of, of stuff on the uh, on the decal sheet. And let's have a look at the instructions. Now the instructions are tri-folded uh, piece of paper. Um, you open them up. You can see that there's your assembly of the of the uh, engine, the interior, the tires, and then we slip over to the chassis, uh, showing you where all of the piping goes for your exhaust, how to put your wheels on. Then you continue on by unfolding, and we see that we have the interior, along with the body, where to put all the, the clear parts. Um, we have some more for the front engine compartment, uh, the hood, and we move forward like so and that is it so you know fully out that's what it is and uh that's pretty much it should we open up some of the the packages why not it is an unboxing after all let's uh toss some of this stuff away and uh, we'll get out a pair of scissors i know we've got one here somewhere well you know what there's always this so let's uh let's take a look at some of these parts unboxed or unbagged we'll just use the 
X-Acto knife. Won't put that aside. And uh, on the tree, let's look at the detail and see that there is not a lot of flash. This has been retooled. Um, parts are really well defined on that tree. Um, I think that uh, this should be a fairly easy build. Um, parts aren't quite white. There's one sprue in here that is really white, and that's for the white walls on the tires. The rest of them are sort of an off-white beige color. Even though it says it's molded in white, I'm not sure what their definition of white is. But the interior details on the on the side panels for the interior look well done. Um, the seats are, are pretty well defined. And let's move on to the engine and dashboard parts. Um, the firewall is pretty good. Uh, everything looks like there's not a lot of flash on it, so it's going to be fairly easy to clean up. We might be doing some lighting on this kit. Um, we may be using Tenet Control's lighting kit, so we will uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that when it comes in. Let's throw these parts in the box. Um, we're going to lose that back seat there if we don't watch what we're doing. Uh, let's open up another one of these and have a look at it. And uh, go from there. All right, so what do we have here? We have... On this one, we have some more exhaust parts. We have the um, a rear axle. Uh, we also have uh, a few of the other parts that we're going to need to put onto the chassis. Uh, very nicely, well done. Um, again, very little flash. Very little flash on this. There is some flash, however, around the, the uh, hood of the car. Um, but that's not too bad. Uh, you can see here we have, this is where the area where we have the most flash. I'm trying to keep that in camera. So this is the area that we have the most flash. Um, uh, what else do we got here? We got the front seat. Uh, front seat has a little bit of flash on it. Um, we can see that it's a divided front seat and there's the rear panel as well. Uh, the chassis looks really good. There's not a lot of cleanup work that we're going to have to do on it. Very little, as a matter of fact. Um, so that's not bad. We've got some more engine parts. Um, we also have the, the hubs for the wheels. Um, there's a little bit of flash in here. Um, that could be from the molding process. Uh, the molds are just getting old, perhaps. Uh, but that, uh, that's actually not bad. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Let's put some of this back away, and we'll move on to... Oh, I don't think we're going to take the tires out. I think the tires are pretty standard. I think the glass is pretty standard. Um, but we are going to... Uh, and the chrome, we're going to talk about the chrome in a little while. Um, we're going to show you with this car how we de-chrome these parts. And you're probably asking yourself, well, why would you de-chrome it? There's a couple of reasons. One of the things that we want to do with this kit is we want to light it up. So we are going to get in some photo etch for this uh, particular model. Um, we're also going to get in the lighting kit from Tenna Controls, which we'll be discussing a little bit later on. But let's have a, have a nice close look at the body of this car. Let's hopefully we don't cut ourselves. There we go. All right, so we got the chassis, or we've got the, the interior pan out, which kind of just pops apart here if i'm not mistaken there we go so the pan is well defined for the interior um you can see we have the trunk which is is fairly um undefined but the rest of the interior is well defined on this um you can see where you should have rubber mat and where you should have carpet uh the underside is pretty well defined as well pretty happy with that uh, again very little flash uh, a little bit of cleanup to do right here, but that's about it. And let's look at the body itself. So all the chrome parts on this car um, are molded in. So all of this detail right here is all molded in, which should be chrome. Um, so we're going to have to do something there. Um, what else is, is uh, good or bad about this? Uh, there's a little bit of rust. Um, in some of the areas, uh, you can tell that the mold, this is when it shows signs of getting old, uh, is when you have rust, uh, starting to show up on your parts. Uh, the mold is starting to get old. They may have to, and there's some, some release here. We're going to be washing this anyway, so a lot of that will go away. 
Uh, on the interior, on the roof, you can see that they've molded in some of the details. This is where the light would be uh, over the door when you would open the door on these cars. Uh, you can see that the um, uh, window visors uh, or sun visors are all molded in, and uh, we're probably and there's some mold uh, pieces in here that we're going to have to try and get rid of to kind of make this uh, a little bit uh, more of the interior of the car that we want. Uh, but other than that, I think the car itself is um, well done. Fairly thick plastic for the body. Um, very reminiscent of what the real heavy-duty cars were. Um, but uh, let's, uh, let's move on. And that's our unboxing of the Christine car uh, from AMT. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back and we'll visit this car again. And we'll show you once we have the photo etch in and once we have the lighting when we start doing the assembly. So until next time.